Hello out there in Facebook land. How's it going tonight? Hope you're having a great, great night. Just logging in over here on my computer. For a sec. All right, I think that's good. Awesome. All right, cool. Hey, I hope everybody's doing well tonight. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to be uh, on until about 8.30ish or so. And um, I wanted to do some sketching tonight of cottages. Um, I got this sepia pen, which I started playing around with today. And here's an example of a cottage I was, I had sketched with it. And here's another example. Just fun, quick little buildings. And I thought I'd play around and do a couple of those tonight. So if you're having a great, great night, let me know if you're in the house, say hello, ask questions, all that fun, fun stuff. It's always great to see, see you guys in here. So let's just do some sketching. We're going to do a couple of, of sepia sketches. I have a sepia brush pen. I'm also going to try this, um, another sepia brush pen, a different brand. Play around with them. Cool. Let's do it. Let's see. Just look at the sides of the paper. This is just watercolor paper, 140 pound. It's a smoother side, just more textured side. So I'm going to just... I'm going to use a more textured side to start with here. All right. I have some scrap paper here. So this is a brush pen. It has a brush pen point on it. I guess that's what you call it. It has a brush at the end of it. Very thin. And um, it's going to take practice to getting used to. I, it's one of those, it's very sensitive. So I'll hold it up here. You know, if the lighter you hold the pen, the finer lines you can get with it. And the more pressure you push, the thicker line you can get. So it's definitely going to take some practice to get the feel of it. But I like that ability, that capability with it. All right. Let's do some sketching. Let me just move this over a little bit. Awesome. Let me make sure that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to loosen up my hand a little bit here. Not looking at any images, I'm just going to kind of go off my brain here a little bit, imagination, and just see what happens. I'm just lightly dragging the pen across the sheet of paper. I'm not pushing down on it, which I like. It's creating some, um, the lines aren't continuous. It has some kind of spaces in it, which is awesome.
I'm just sketching on some stone shapes on here, add a little bit of detail, and then I'm going to come in with uh, some water. Actually, I'll do it right now. And we'll just brush some water on here. There we go. We'll just put, we'll play around with it. We'll add some water and just kind of do some painting with the ink. Uh, once it dries, let me just double check. I think once it dries, you it's not water soluble. So you do have a little bit of time to mess around with it until it totally dries. Maybe the top of the gables is some kind of a wood siding and the bottom of the house is made out of stone. So we just stacked stone down here just to add a little bit of material, which adds a little bit of character to it as well. I like the walls to look a little wonky, so I'm building them out so they're not perfectly uh, square. Cool. So I'm just kind of mixing and playing around with uh, ink and water back and forth a little bit. Hey, Becky, good evening. And Tamberly, good evening to you guys. Hope you're doing well. It's good to see everybody in the house. Playing around with some sepia inks again. I did a little bit this afternoon and I wanted to revisit it. I had so much fun. And uh, yeah, this was awesome. So I figured I would do some sketching and stuff before Rue is on later at 857. You can see I have a note there. Um, Michael said it was awesome that I could put this on here to promote what he's doing tonight. So it was really nice that he said I could do that. So make sure you tune in to watch Rue tonight, 857. Help him raise some money for uh, kids for camp scholarships. How awesome is that? Such good stuff. Gotta love it. So I am going to make sure I cut out early to... Uh, Make sure I catch some of it. But I always appreciate you guys tuning in. Yay, Becky Fairytale Cottage. Thank you, yeah, it does have that feel to it. Becky, I saw your um, covered bridge. I left some comments for you about it. It looks uh, incredible. I love the detail. I actually love the perspective you have going on. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful drawing. Um, I know you had questions about colors. So I, in my brain, I could definitely picture it having color on it. Um, I do really like it in black and white. So my feedback was, you know, definitely take a picture of it in black and white. So you have a record or a document of it. And then add some, maybe add some color if you want. And just play around. Um, right, you can always create it. You know, it's about practicing and trying things out. Uh, but I picture very, I picture whimsical colors and Again, that's just my what I'm seeing, but it's totally your piece, and it'd be interesting to see what you do. Um, yeah, so awesome job with that. Covered bridges are beautiful structures. I always wanted to take a trip out to uh, New Hampshire, Vermont in the fall, and the covered bridges and 
take photographs and sketch and all that fun stuff. So awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Cool stuff. So yeah, so I'm adding to my cottage series. And uh, this sepia brush is pretty nice. Uh, a couple things, I don't know how... So it, it comes with disposable cartridges. I don't know how long the cartridge is going to last. Uh, depends how quickly I use it up, I guess. You see it has a fine brush on there. It's just taking practice, getting used to the pressure to put on there and the kind of lines you want to create. Um, but so far I really am liking it. And this is Pentel. It's a Pentel, it's called Pentel Pocket Brush. Me, this is a medium sized tip on here. I think it's CB, I think you can get them in different colors, I'm guessing, different cartridges. And I don't want to add a lot of detail to this. I'm just trying to create a character. And fairy tale character is an awesome way to describe it. So I'm glad that's coming through on the sketch. I'm doing something right today. Yes. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Sleep on it for a while. Exactly. Don't make any rash decisions, right? You can always come back and do it later. For sure. I actually broke this out. I don't know if I'm going to use it. This is fluorescent red ink. I was thinking about playing around with that on some of these sepia prints. But I'm kind of hesitant to do it on these. Maybe I'll do a quick... I have a practice sheet here I might do it on. I think I, we can take a look at it. Yeah, so I think this one looks pretty nice. I'm going to leave this one for now. Kind of goes, right? You can kind of see the series. It's a theme that's starting to happen. I have a couple other pieces you've probably seen me sketch before. Roll Dahl, that's awesome. I love Roll Dahl. I love um, his stories. Yeah, who? Oh man, I'm trying to think of the name of the illustrator. I love it, the illustrator. Ah, I can't think of the name of the illustrator that's illustrated the Roll Dahl books. I should know it. It should be right here. My brain like turns off after 8 o'clock. He's awesome. I love the guy. And people have uh, said. My sketches kind of look like his sketches. Darn it. Oh, it's going to hit me. He's, I think he's been knighted and everything, this guy. It'll hit me. But yeah, thank you, Becky. That's cool that you said that. So yeah, so we got a couple of cottages. Let's let's play around. And I'm, I, I'm feeling um, like I want to add some fluorescent red on here. I just, I don't know. Why not? So let me just do a quick sketch. This is just a scrap piece in my watercolor book. I actually really like this little sketch a lot. Um, so these are six by six sheets, six by six. It's actually just a pre-cut um, artist tiles from Stradmore, six by six, 140 pound. So 10, I think there's 10 sheets in here. And it's probably a little more expensive to buy these pre-made rather than cutting bigger, bigger sheets, but it's just easier for me. So I'm trying to do everything on the 6x6 format for this series I'm working on. Yes, Quentin Blake! Thank you, you got it. That's who I'm thinking of. He is a, I can't believe I forgot his name. He is an idol of mine. Uh, I love Quentin Blake. He's, he is, oh, he's probably number one on my illustrator list. I love, love his work. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he's, he illustrated, I think, um, a lot of the Roll Doll books. Thank you for looking that up. I appreciate it. Cool stuff. So let me sketch a let me just sketch a little cottage or a scene or something. No, let's add some fluorescent to it. Fluorescent red and just have fun. So you said fairy tale. Now I have a kind of castles in my brain. So let me sketch a little some kind of a castle maybe here. And the tower here, kind of a little Sleeping Beauty tower on the castle. Or the girl, what's, who's the girl whose hair they let down out of the castle? Oh my gosh, I forgot her. My brain is totally off tonight. Who's that? Oh, Rapunzel. Yeah, Rapunzel. Maybe Rapunzel's tower. It's weird. My brain at 8 o'clock just likes to uh, shut down. And then it wakes up again around 10. It's 
crazy, right? So I'm just sketching maybe a little castle or something. Just a quick outline. We have our gated entry here to get in. So I'm holding the brush very light now and I'm just kind of trying to control it. So I'm getting finer lines on the sketch. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And maybe we got some windows in here up in the castle. Got a flag going up here. And the idea is I'm not creating a detailed sketch, right? It's just, I think the form, you can kind of see that it's something castle-like, right? Cool. So let's, I'm going to brush uh, some water on here and then play with the sepia for a minute and then we'll play with the red fluorescent ink. Cool. Actually, I'm going to break out this too. I'm going to do two sketches. There we go. So I'm just adding some color. I'm just brushing the ink that's on here already, spreading it out with some water. That looks cool. And then let's, just for the heck of it, let's try this. I haven't used this pen yet. Brand new. And we'll just do another little sketch next to it. So this is definitely lighter. Lighter sepia tone. Alright, so I got another little sepia going on there, just two different pens, and we'll see how this one works with water. I haven't tried it yet. It is a watercolor marker, so it should work. I believe it is. It says brush pen. Uh, well, we'll find out. So it doesn't say watercolor brush. And I could definitely brush it. Cool. I feel like this pen I can create loose, very loose sketches with, um, whereas this one I can do more, a little more refined type of work with finer lines. But again, that was the first time I had used this one over here. I like the way this is bleeding now. So it has, has a nice bleeding effect to it. Cool. All right. So we got a couple of different sketches there. Two different pens. This was the Eco Line brush pen, and this is the Pentel Sepia brush pen. Two different styles and characters. Um, characters. I guess each pen is a character in its own play. Which one is the star? No. So awesome. So 
You know, if we pull the first one back we did, this cottage, this was done with the Pentel. I really like the character of it, but I'm curious to see what happens when I throw some fluorescent paint onto this. So let's just play around with these little sketches and see what happens. Hey out there, hope you guys are having a great night. Let me grab a swig of water here. I'm thirsty, 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 thirsty. Um, used to be the children's kids. Oh, awesome, at a bookstore. Wow, Becky, that's awesome. Good memory, so cool. We meant children's and young adults section. That's so cool. So, my wife and I, we actually met working at a bookstore. I worked, we both worked at a bookstore on the mall. I was there for, gosh, how many years? I was at a toy store for about 10 years. Then I went to the bookstore, I don't know, maybe five years? That's what we met in the bookstore. So, I love bookstores. Um, I wish there were more around, and I wish Borders was still around. I used to love going into Borders, walking around. Um, that's so cool. Awesome. Good to know I ordered some Ecoline brush pens in one sepia. Good, Becky. That's awesome. All right, guys. Call me crazy. It's okay. I'm used to it. Crazy, crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just having fun with color. Boom. So if you're watching, make sure you say hello so I can say hello back to you guys. That would be awesome. Hey, Julie. How are you? Dawn, good to see you guys. Hope you're having a great, great night. So thank you. Yeah, these are, these are fun, Dawn. These are cool little sketches. Um, we're going to go really crazy and throw some fluorescent paint on. I'm procrastinating, can't you tell? I'm just shaking this thing up. All right, let's go for it. So this is fluorescent red. Dale Roney acrylic ink. Never used it. I, I lie, I'm lying. I did, I did brush a little out earlier on here. But I'm going to play around with it on here now. And don't forget, guys, Rue is on 8.57 tonight. Make sure you check him out in his auction. I will be ending early so we can head over to Rue's page. It was so nice. He asked if I could put his thing up here to promote him. He said, he said yes. He's awesome. All right, let's do it. I'm going to use a brush pen, I think. I'm just going to dip my brush pen right into here. See, that's right. Look how vibrant that is, right? It's very fluorescent. Well, let me put the cap here. I don't want to get it on my hand. All right, let's just dip it in and see what happens, guys. Got to live on the edge once every painting. Live on the edge. not looking so vibrant on camera and it's, it's drying a lot lighter than it looks in the bottle but it's definitely it has it is fluorescent on my uh, in real life here well that's real life but that's virtual you know what I'm saying <laughs> you're a person that looks more vibrant than on camera I think it's being a little washed out on screen it's pretty cool actually I'm just uh, switching the tune here. There we go. I'm just going to put it on thick in some places and see how it dries. I'm really throwing it down. I don't want to cover it all. I just want to add some highlights. So it's looking kind of cool. Let's go over to the other one here and do the same thing. I'm actually going to put some of the fluorescent right on top of the CP here. So one thing I've noticed with acrylic inks, they, they always um, seem to dry lighter than they go on the paper. So it's mixing in with the sepia pen, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to really pile it right here. I'm going to dry right there. Yeah, I like that.
Cool. I don't want to do it on these. These I'm gonna I think these I'm gonna keep sepia without color on them. That one, we have this one, which was the first that was the first one I tried with the sepia pen. Second one. This is the third one here. Pretty cool stuff. Awesome, awesome. So let me hold this up closer. I don't know if you can see it better, maybe. So you might be able to see it's a little more intense if when I hold it closer. Tinia Paulton Ice Cream Castle. I like that. Now I'm hungry. You had to say the I word. You had to bring up the I word, didn't you? Ice cream, ice cream. I love it. Yes, it's cool. Gotta have some more on the brush. I might as well brush it off. Use it. This one I'm gonna actually leave. I really like this little sketch. I'm, I'm thinking about maybe even turning that into a logo. Just something really simple about it that I don't know, it just, it just appeals to me visually. So I'm not going to add red to that one. I have some, I don't know what this is. Let's going to turn it upside down. Sorry guys, I know it's upside down. I just want to play around up here a little bit. Just use whatever excess I have on my brush. There we go. Good. Bottle this up so I don't spill it. All right, I'm sure you guys can guess what I'm going to sketch here on the top. I'm going to put some uh, some Sharpie or sepia. I don't know. Actually, I'll break out the sepia pen. I'm going to turn this into something over here. My go-to. We all have a go-to that, right? Stuff we love sketching, something we always come back to. Maybe a character or a scene or a style or a building. So this is still wet down here. This is still drying. You gotta be careful not to smudge it. Let me zoom out a little smidge. There we go. I just want to focus up here for a minute. Hey, I'm not wearing any. I'm not wearing any of the red. That's good. I do have some cerulean blue on me though. There we go. So I brought it back to a, some kind of a skyline. A very, very small skyline, not a lot of detail, but just some silhouettes of buildings. Don't ask me to spell silhouettes. I, that's one of those words I just never can spell. Cool.
So yeah, so um, there you go. So we have, you sharpen it, focus a little bit, boom. So I'm gonna let that dry and then zoom out for a sec. Yeah, so this is drying pretty nicely. I like the fluorescent on there, just playful. I like the, the color combination of the fluorescent red and the sepia. Here it has a very soft kind of pink. Like almost like a salmon color to it, which is interesting as well, for sure. You know, if I hold one of our earlier sketches next to it, just to get an idea of what it looks like without color. Pretty cool. Hey, Sue, how are you? Good to see you. Dre, how are you? Good to see everybody. You guys are awesome. Awesome, awesome sauce. Yeah, so this is a fun little piece. Let's do one more cottage on a bigger sheet of paper. I'm gonna let this dry. So for you guys just joining, um, I'm playing around with the sepia pens and just drawing some sketches on six by six watercolor paper. Move my board up. There we go. And I'll do another quick little sketch here. Good to see everybody. There we go. I think that's a good shot. I might have to focus. Let's see. Maybe a little tiny bit. There we go. I think that looks good. You guys are awesome. I love you guys all watching. Chris, hey, Chris, how are you? So guys, don't forget Rue is on 8.57 tonight. Watch him, he's auctioning some stuff off, trying to raise money for, uh, I think he said for kids camp scholarships. How cool is that? And again, I want to thank him for letting me post the, the announcement on here for him. It was nice of him to let me do that. So that was cool. I'm just, there we go. All right, let's do another sketch. So, this has a textured side and a flat kind of side. I'm going to go with the more textured side, I think. There we go. Uh, picturing just some kind of rustic building, maybe not necessarily a cottage, maybe some building that has gone into ruinous state, perhaps. Gonna wonkify it by adding some stone. I like that verb, wonkify. Just some indication of some stonework going on, maybe at the base of the building. So Maybe the whole building is actually some kind of stonework. Some kind of an arched opening here. Maybe it goes into a courtyard inside.
All right. So let me break out some of the my water brush and let's add some water on here. Play around with it a little bit. It's good to see everybody. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you're enjoying these little cottagey sketches tonight. So this is just a water brush pen. I'm just adding um, some water to the ink that's on here, letting it bleed a little bit, painting with it a little bit. Just like softening some of the edges and letting it letting it bleed a little. A little. Man, Becky said Neapolitan ice cream before. Now I keep, all I'm thinking about is ice cream. What's up with that? All I'm thinking about is ice cream. My stomach's growling. But I don't have any here, so that's, that's a good thing. I definitely don't need it right now. It's fun to think about. Cool. All right, see how just adding the water kind of adds a little bit of tone, some character to it as well. And I'll come back with the brush. Actually, you know what? Let's. I have this other brush pen. This is much lighter. Let's just throw some of this on here and see what happens. We'll kind of use both together. See what kind of effect we get. some water on it. It's kind of fun to have two different tones of sepia on here. Just sketching some growy things maybe happening on the ground. Lightly dragging the brush up. The more I use this brush, the more I'm liking it because you can get different effects depending on the pressure you put on it, on the uh, brush. I feel like I want to draw a keystone here. Put a little keystone over there. Maybe we'll have another block on there. Just to show the arch a little bit more detailed. I think it helps to define the entry. It gives a little more character on there. Maybe there's some kind of a slate roof on here. So I'm just drawing some vertical lines just to show some kind of uh, shingling or tiling going on at the roof. Cool. Oops, I was trying to put the wrong cap on the wrong one. I hate when that happens. Um, awesome. No, don't be sorry. Sorry I planted the seed in my brain. 
It's okay. If my if the, the garden of my mind is growing ice cream, that's a good thing. So always plant the ice cream seeds. No problem. I love that. Let me zoom in a little closer for you guys. Hope you're enjoying this painting. Or a sketch. It's, I like to call them sketch drawings, sketch painting, ink and wash sketches. That's usually what I call them. Ink and wash sketch. When I say painting, for me, well, painting to me, just for me personally, it seems like it's a more formal kind of piece um, with maybe acrylic paint, oil paint, formal watercolor painting. I like to do loose, quick sketches, as you guys know. Let me zoom in. I'm talking, I'm talking a lot. There we go. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. So there you go. So what do you guys think? You guys like this one? Let me know. Give me some thumbs up. Some thumbs sideways, downs. Even Inkling's a little late. Evening, Patty. Good to see you. Um, thanks for joining. It's always awesome to have you guys join in. So we did this one here. Give a little zoom out session. We got this one. We did this one here tonight. I just want to look at them all grouped together. Sometimes it's fun to see your pieces. You have this one here. I'm going to slide up a little bit. There we go. And then we have the scrap paper. We have this. These with the colors we throw on it. Thanks, Julie. I appreciate it. Yeah, awesome stuff, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to be adding these to the um, Inky Wonky Cottage series that I've been working on. Um, I have some other pieces with colored backgrounds that you guys may have seen me work or create those. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with the backgrounds on these. You guys have suggestions. Part of me likes them like this, or maybe I would throw some cerulean blue down if I may I'll do this quick let's just practice on here what, what would this look like if I throw down some cerulean blue or something just to pop the building a little bit and I and I'll just paint right in the bottle let's see Where's my bottle? so let's throw some cerulean on here and I just want to see what effect happens I'm going to try to stay away from this piece. I really think I'm going to use this for a logo. I, I'm I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite things I've drawn today. I just love this little building. So I don't want to get any blue on that. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. Sod roof is cool. Thank you. Love them all. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. You're so positive. All right, let's do some cerulean blue. You guys up for that? Zoom in. All right, let's throw some on. Throw down some color. Um, let's put this somewhere. I don't want to make a huge mess. That's yeah, fine. All right, I'm just gonna paint right out of the bottle. So that's, this um, is the blue on here. I think it's a little out of focus. Here we go. That's better. And I don't want it to be too intense. I'm looking just for a soft, subtle, maybe backdrop. You know, and I, I would consider doing that around these pieces as well. Although something is, I really like something about the simplicity of this without the color background. 
So Becky, we're having the same dilemma, right? Do we add color or not add color to our art pieces? It's always a good question. Simple is good, yeah. Simple is good. Just looking at the time here. Ooh, I really, I really intensified it here. Just want to see what it would look like if it is darker. I think it's too intense here. I'm actually going to take some of that color out. I'm just going to blot some of this out. I don't. It's way too intense here. Yeah, lighter, lighter looks better. Becky makes the pink, pink pop. Yeah, I guess I agree with you. The blue does make the pink pop for sure. Good point. Oh, you know what I want? I did want to do some up here. I forgot. I was gonna throw some up here in the skyline scene. There we go. Just want to throw some up top there. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. The King of Skyline. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, yeah, you guys know I love skylines. I could turn anything into a skyline. Um, awesome. So guys, yeah, that was just a quick little session. Almost, almost 40, almost 50 minutes or so. Just playing around some sepia. Um, take a little recap, and I know, don't forget to go and check out Rue at 857 on his page. I'll be popping in to say hello and see what's going on I would I'm really curious guys if you had to pick one let me lay them out I'm gonna ask you guys to give me a just to vote just put in the comments which one is your favorite from tonight no particular order I'm just bringing them out here we'll call that one it's number two This will be three. One, two, three, and you could even vote for one of these if you want. We'll call the castle number four, this little castle sketch. I'll just do this so you can see it. All right, cool. So give me your vote, guys. One, two, three, four. I'd love to know what you're thinking. And there are no wrong answers. That's the beauty of this. You can answer anything you want, and it won't be wrong. I wish I should start seeing that in class. The kids would love that. That's true. I, actually, I don't give tests where they have to memorize facts or anything like that. All my, they basically do projects, and I tell them there really are no wrong answers as long as you're meeting the requirements, thinking outside the box, participating, putting effort in. You're good to go. Oh, we got oh, we got a number two. We got to vote for two here. Number one, hard to choose. Another number one. 
Number two. It's a tie. You have two number ones, two number twos. Oh, the tiebreaker. Number three right here. Number one is three votes. Cool. Do I have to vote? I don't need to vote, right? I don't need to vote. Let's see. I'm just looking at him getting a drink of water here. Look what I pick. Oh, we got another number one. One is pulled ahead by by two no, by two votes. Hmm. It is hard to pick, isn't it? Guys, I think I'm gonna go with number one. Not because you guys voted, I think I'm like a number one. And my reason is I think number one has the wonkiest character to it. Um, it's very wonky. And I actually also like the color combination of the light sepia and the darker sepia. I like that as well. But I think the number one has a lot of character, a lot of wonky character to it. You know what I mean? This is looking a little formal. It still has some wonkiness. Um, this is very cottagey. I love this one. This would be my second choice here. I love the cottage look. This wins the wonky award. I like the arch doorway number one. There's a bridge here called Keystone Bridge that looks like that arch. Nothing holds us together, no cement, just pressure. Wow. The largest stone at the top, is the arch is the keystone. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's hard to pick. I'm visualizing, visualizing a forest green backdrop. Ooh. Ooh. Forest green backdrop. I have sap green. I have sap green. That would be worth a try. Love the sod cut. Yeah, you love this one. This is cool. I do love the roof on this. It's cool that you picked up what the character of the roof was. All right. All right, we have until 8.57. All right, guys, I'm going to quick. I like to... I always like to hear your suggestions. Um, the green background sounded interesting to me. I'm just going to pull out, flip a sheet here. All right, we'll do a quick, 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 quick sketch. And we'll try some green. I have sap green, but we'll, we'll still give it a try. All right. No talking, let me just do this. Let's see. Okay, let's see, a couple windows here, There's some kind of a chimney popping out here, boom, another little chimney or something popping up here, maybe some overhangs for a porch roof, roofs, we got some porch roofs going on, we'll throw in a door here, all right, we got a quick little sketch, and then let me throw this down and I'll break out some of the sap green. Uh, I might mix the sap green with some sepia, and we'll see if we can get it to be a darker green. Just throw some water on here. Cool. Let's just darken the ground up a little bit. All right. Let's break out some. Uh, I have a sap green watercolor marker here. I'm gonna use my palette and just throw it down on the palette. So I know it's going to be light, guys, because it's sap green. I 
I'm really throwing this down quick, which is cool. Sometimes the quicker the better. You don't think I don't have time to think about it, and I'm just going with my gut. And I'll see if I can mix in you know, a little darker. All right, cool. Um, let me throw in some. Here we go. Ah, for the cottage. Yeah. How do you draw cobbles? Ooh, good question. I'll see if I can get to that. If I don't get to it today, I will definitely get to it next time on the one. Um, so that's a great question, by the way. I can. I can. Let me zoom in. That's better. All right, let's mix, make this darker. Um, I'm going to mix some sepia in there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to break out my sepia marker. I have a sepia watercolor marker. I don't know if this is going to work. Because I don't want it to be too brown. Yeah, it's, it has, it's turning it to more of an olive green. Let's put it down here at the bottom. So it's definitely not a forest green. It's kind of olive-ish, olive-y, olive-ish, olive-y, olive -ish, I mean, I like it, too. I do like the color of it for the ground. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm not sure how to make a forest green with what I have. Maybe I'll, I'll put some more sap on it, see if this that just darkens it up a notch. So I'm adding in some more uh, sap green. There's a little bit of sepia mixed in here. I could tell. Work into the music here, as you can see, I'm kind of in a rapid mood. All right, cool. Well, that's kind of a—it's not a forest green, but you can get the idea of having a green background. This looks like some kind of a cabin in the woods, maybe somewhere. Cool. What do you guys think of that one? Do you think it? Would you like the back, the background on your? Cobbles, cobbles, cobbles. Um, so when I draw stonework, I'm just going to draw it. Just doing a big scale of it here. It's almost a continuous line. I will, I do pick up the pen though or the marker occasionally. But I try to make them very irregular, but by doing a continuous line, for me, it, it makes them connect together so it looks like they're stacked, rather than trying to draw individual ones. I mean, you could do it this way. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, let me move this up a little. So this... If I try to draw them more individually, you can do it. But to me, when I do a continuous line, it looks more organic. And that's just the look I like to go for. So that would be this, this top version. These are more individually drawn. So it's, a, it's like a personal preference, right? Uh, how do you draw? Little cabin in the woods. I like the cabin. There it is. Awesome. That's so cool. Who lives in the cabin? You know, that's a great question. And I feel like that's something I need to really start doing with my sketches. I love drawing buildings. But they're buildings, right? I try to draw buildings and settings, but who does live in there? It, it invites a story. 
and with the Inky Wonky Cottage series, I'm trying to create buildings for for characters. So the first one I did was the kite maker's house. So at least, so I like your question about who lives there. This is a really cool little sketch. Awesome. Um, thank you. I have to go. Yes, Julie. Time to head out, guys. Head over to Ruse page. He's on at eight fifty-seven. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I will be over there saying hello. So thank you for tuning in, everybody. Peace. Live creatively. See you guys real soon. Take care. Yeah, I'm still here. I didn't log out. For sure. I was just looking at this on screen. This came out really... This actually came out really cool, this building. How long did it take to sketch that? Wow. Fun stuff, guys. Kind of all over, right? I like the size of this, too. This, these are 6x6 six six sheets of paper. This has a nice small size to it, scale to it. I'm just going to sketch maybe some uh, growies or maybe some, suggest maybe some trees or something going, going on in the background. Just to give a little more setting to the place. Somebody's home. Smoke's coming out soon. Yeah. Yes. Some, I guess someone is home. That's a good point. Uh, maybe the raccoons took over. Maybe the raccoons are living in the cabin. The raccoons have taken over the house. They're, uh, they're raccoon camping. Rack camping. They're rack camping. Maybe this, just bleeding this out a little bit. Maybe just the idea of trees or something growing. I don't want to get too detailed with it. I should throw some in the background here. There we go. You add some pen to that. Then I gotta go. Cool. This looks awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all your input, your community, your sharing my page. I know some of you guys have been sharing this with your friends and your pages. I really appreciate it. Let's spread the word and let's let's get this thing growing. Let's keep it going. Thank you so much, guys. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Live creatively. See you soon. I am scheduled to be on Saturday night, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time. So I will definitely be back on Saturday. See you. Peace and live creatively.